Richard Boyle blew the whistle in the Australian tax office on dastardly tactics to target individual small taxpayers. This, while multinational corporations are being pampered, mollycoddled, not prosecuted with polite little chats over billions in tax rorts raking public money, what should be taxes paid offshore. Today, the South Australian Court of Appeal has just struck out Richard Boyle's whistleblower defence, so he faces 46 years in prison if convicted. If convicted, he would follow the Afghan war crimes whistleblower David McBride into prison. Who then is protected by Australia's whistleblowing laws? No one. That's who. We've just seen Tony Watson a source of Michael West Media, his case struck down, his leave to appeal to the High Court denied. He saved the country tens if not hundreds of millions in dollars from a Lend-Lease tax scam. He was the Lend-Lease tax advisor. He lost his job and now he's losing his house. But a worse fate awaits Richard Boyle. Boyle did the right thing. Unfortunately, He should have been on background rather than on the ABC's Four Corners program. He should have been a deep confidential source for he has paid a high price for his integrity. Even if he gets off the hangman's noose hanging over this man's head for so many years, his punishment far too high, far too much. The South Australian Court of Appeal has made it clear that Australia's federal whistleblower protections are completely broken. The unanimous judgment strips this whistleblower, Richard Boyle, of immunity from prosecution. He blew the whistle on the ATO's egregious use of garnishy powers to strip funds from small business bank accounts. Powers were supposed to be used only as a measure of last resort. But the tax office was using them as a measure of first resort. Easy targets, unlike those mollycoddled multinationals. The treatment of Richard Boyle, this is akin to someone jaywalking to save a child on the other side of the road and then being prosecuted for jaywalking, as Rex Patrick puts it, who was in the court today to follow Richard's case. Richard mounted and lost an immunity argument in the South Australian District Court. He appealed that loss to the South Australian Court of Appeal and the court dismissed his appeal. The judgment reasons have been temporarily suppressed on top of everything to allow Richard's legal team to ensure nothing in the judgment will prejudice his criminal case, which will now commence in the South Australian District Court once again. The dismissal is not an indictment on Richard, rather on the poor state of Australia's whistleblowing regime, its laws. It was shot under the previous government, the coalition government, and the Albanese government promised to do something, promised to improve the situation. It acknowledged the Public Interest Disclosure Act is flawed, but it's content, apparently, with Richard being persecuted because of these broken laws. The judgment comes just a month after McBride was marched off to jail for calling the truth about army misconduct in Afghanistan. He's got almost six years jail. He will appeal. This is a faulty judgment too. Attorney General Mark Dreyfus has the power to drop Richard Boyle's prosecution with a stroke of a pen, but he has declined to do so. He seems happy for Richard to unfairly face the music. He seems happy to send the message to everybody. Do not blow the whistle. Do not do the right thing. Play the game. The impact on democracy is chilling. The message is there, loud and clear from our government. Do not do the right thing. And so it is. The corruption in government and large institutions will flourish as a result. Thank you for your support here. Please like, share and comment in the section below.